Hi guys, I thought you might like to check out my microscope setup that I've got. So on the bench here, primarily this is my soldering bench, but um, I can use this for, for other intricate work, um, fixing circuits and the like. And I've got this microscope setup set, well, I say it's a microscope, it's, um, it's a camera and a lens, uh, not a microscope as such, but it does give a really good resolution um, and it didn't cost all that much to set this up so for somebody who wants um, perhaps a, a visual uh, aid to uh, to doing some fine work or soldering work um, then this could be it so what I've got is I've got the stand of course HD camera um, now this was bought from uh, Banggood um, I think it was about 60 pounds when I bought it um, it does have a few features on it, it's remote control and some effects and stuff on there, but I'm not using any of that. I'm just uh, got it fixed at the one um, zoom lens, uh, the zoom length. And then this comes with a C-mount adapter to, to mount on a C-mount lens. Now, uh, this lens is a, uh, it's an old Canon lens, a CCTV lens. So this would have been on one of the larger um CCTV cameras um, back in the day. I mean, this is probably probably 30 years old, this lens. Um, but I got this on eBay. I think it was about £25, something like that. Um, now, the one I've got here, um, the zoom on it is an 18 to 108 millimeter. Um, and the F type, the F stop is a 2.5. So it's F 2.5. Uh, and I find this is ideal for what I need to do. And the best thing about this uh, over a microscope, because a lot of the microscopes I've seen don't give you this focal distance here. So if something was on the floor here and you wanted to focus on it with a microscope, you'd normally have to have this lens virtually on top of the, of the item in order to focus properly. But this distance you can see here, this, this is my focal distance. So I can focus uh, on items that are this far away and it gives me this good working area to do soldering or or whatever uh, and then I've got this connected to uh, just a VGA monitor there uh, and yeah that's pretty much it the uh, the stand has an adjustment you can move this up and down and this is a standard photography stand if you if you search for um, uh, camera still um, stand or camera macro stand something like that you'll you'll see these now this isn't the same isn't the right mount for my hd camera so it looks a bit ugly i've got all these uh, rip ties on here but you know it does the job it's just attaching it to this um to this mount here uh i've also got a uh, ring light as well that's what this um that's what this disc is here this is an adapter for for this ring light again this is just cheap um Chinese ring light. I think it cost uh, maybe ten pounds, something like that. Maybe even less than that. So I'll just fit that on there. Show you that. It's just USB powered. And now you can see we've got this, uh, this extra light at the bottom here. I've also got two close-up rings. So if you want to match my system exactly. What you'll need is the 18 to 108 zoom lens and a four times close up ring is what I've got on there. Uh, so that allows me to, uh, to again, get further away from the work down here. So let me just um, get something to put on here and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So I've just got a, a Raspberry Pi here just so you can get an idea of what the magnification is like. And I'm just gonna move it over to the monitor so you can see this, that's not quite focused there. So I'm just gonna focus it up slightly. Now it does wobble. Um, uh, this stand isn't um, the most rigid. Uh, and I think that's probably where you'd pay more money is to get a, a metal stand with metal fixings. This is all plastic. So, um, it's good enough for me, um, but just be aware if you've got high magnification, the better the stand, the less uh, less wobble 
you're going to get if I'm tapping it like that you can see this warming on the screen so let's just focus that up there we are so that's that's a pretty good resolution right there and you can see this distance again so plenty of room to do soldering or whatever uh, if I just put my finger in the middle there you'll be able to see how how zoomed in that is there we are now that isn't the uh, biggest magnification so I can go in further than that this is on uh, what are we on at the minute what about 35 so if I zoom right in I'll have to adjust the focus as well let's see if I can get that focused up there so that's that's probably about the maximum resolution So that there, that's the that's the USB socket. Oh, in fact, no, it's the HDMI socket. Sorry, I was going to say it's got too many connectors on it. That's the HDMI socket. But you know, if you're going to resolder that, um, this is ideal because you can uh, you can get right into that and see where the problem areas are. So let's uh, let's find something else. So that HDMI logo. Let's turn that around. That HDMI logo there, just to give you an idea. So that's sort of full screen almost, and it's 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 that logo right there. So it's a, it's a pretty good resolution. Uh, here's a standard pitch header on there. Let's um, zoom in on that and see what that looks like. Just need to focus that up. There we are. So again, you can see any um, if there's any solder problems or broken tracks or anything. Easy to see with that. And if we had the iron, let's just grab a, an iron tip. That's the. Uh, that's what you'd see. And I just find this is uh, it's really good, especially for soldering. It's ideal. So that that tip there was this one. So yeah, I just thought you'd uh, you might like to see that because uh, I've seen a few different ones online, um, ready built, but they don't have the magnification of this one they don't have obviously as good a lens as this now this lens would have been expensive um to buy as a as a, as a brand new item but you can find these so um i'll put a link in for this camera with the c-mount lens and then you can have a search for uh for c-mount lenses to go on that and maybe have an experiment you know if, if you can get them quite cheaply uh experiment and see what um, what magnification they give the like I said the close-up rings on the bottom these are just standard four times close-up rings you can get them in usually, usually in packs um, you know ten times four times two times and you can mix and match you can put them together so you know a four and a two you can make a six uh, so yeah just have a, have a play around with it but um, yeah this whole thing probably 40 pounds for the stand I think maybe 50 60 for the camera 25 for the lens maybe 10 or 15 for the light so all in all not uh, not a great deal of money and um it's it's really really good let's just focus that up again there we are glare off the uh, off the lights in the room sorry off the screen so hope you can see that okay oh 
Okay, well, I hope you've uh, found this useful. If you've got any questions about the uh, about the rig or um, how to set it up, anything like that, just um, drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.